What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so we're here at KetoCon. we are and we went to heb to pick up some groceries for our nice little uh you know hotel room that has a kitchen you can see behind us and we found another sugar-free non-aspartame soda and we're gonna review it right, right after, after this, this. Is this the smallest table in the world? What? We're in a hotel room. We're working with what we have. I feel like we're gonna have to do like this review like cheek to cheek. Hey, we're used to a big table and the camera being over there and lights up there and microphones. I, and I, I did shower, so like You we're smell good. <laughs> So we're working with, hey, we're going to have some of these videos. We're filming at a KetoCon. We're maybe wearing the same shirt. We're doing the best we can. And we're in the bathtub. We're like, yeah. Yeah. So we went to HEB to get some soda. For those of you who are new to our channel. We've never been to HEB. We've never been to HEB. And for those of you who are new to our channel, I have been a major soda addict for as long as I can remember. But Seriously. even for the last two, two and a half years on keto. And I gave it up for the... Cut down the keto con with Watch Autumn Keto. Thank you, Autumn, for and this challenge. So, of course, I've always said, like, somebody needs to give Zevia a run for their money. Just a little. Just a little bit. You know, some people don't like Stevia. Well, we came across this in HEB. And this is a company. It's actually Austin-based. I guess that's why we found it. Oh, neato. And it's called Live Soda or Live Soda. I mean, I guess they're spelled the same, right? Is it like a probiotic soda? So, yep. This is Live Soda or Live Soda, whichever one it is. Zero sugar, cola with probiotics. Oh, by the way, <laughs> just in case you may be wondering, because I know you were like, oh, I need to put more makeup on. Yes. I've started shooting this week in 4K. Oh, dear Lord. So this video is in 4K. So this is starring Joe and the Crypt Keeper. Now, maybe how about Beauty and the Beast? Oh, I like that. That's sweet. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this. Now, we bought the cola flavor. They had root beer, they had ginger ale, they had lemon lime, and they had cream soda. I feel oh, like, and they had a Dr. Pepper. I feel like this is almost mean. For these sodas, you almost need to start rolling in on root beer because root beers are usually You know what? Here's my good. thing. Anybody can make a root beer. You can go buy any brand root beer and they're all going to be good. Whether you buy the cheap Chex flavor mm -hmm. or you buy Barges or you buy A&W, you may prefer one over the other, but all of them are palatable, right? Well, it's not so easy. Rachel could do it. Yeah, but they're all palatable. To me, you want to judge a good soda on cola because like we said in the other video, you can always depend on like Coke and Pepsi are your cola and right. nobody else can do a good one. So I'm not saying this is going to taste like Coke or Pepsi, but if it's palatable as a cola, then all the other, then the other ones are, are going to be, be good. really good. And here at KetoCon, we'll have to go back and see them again like on tomorrow or the next day. Virgil's. But there was another company... And their cola was good. Their cola was very good. And they had all good clean ingredients. So let's go over the nutrition on this. I even brought my portable glasses. Are these the ones that you keep on your keychain? No, these are fold up pair. Look, they fold up. You fold them in half. And then, I don't... Oh, it's a helicopter. Look, you fold it like that. They're and so you fold tiny. It like that, and you fold it like that. Oh my god. And gosh. then I don't know where the case is. It's over there. When, it's a little case, then you can put that in your pocket. I have a question. When they're that small, can you see them? Yes. To you put can. them on. Yes, can you, you find can. them? <laughs> <laughs> they're just reading glasses, but they're awesome. They're cutie patootie. See? Okay, so the ingredients in this carbonated water, erythritol, natural flavors, monk fruit extract, citric acid. It's a tart it's a tartaric tartaric acid. And then live probiotics, which is basi uh, Bacillus, which that one? Subtilis. Subtilis. And it's kind of hard to see because it's like 
black on silver on a silver red. So it's a little bit harder to read. It's pretty from a distance. Okay, so it says one serving per container, obviously. Yeah. Zero calories, zero grams of fat, zero grams of protein, five total carbohydrates per can. Which is scary when you first look at that. Five grams of erythritol. So there you go. Okay, and then on the back it says live soda or live soda was created as the answer to our soft drink hopes and dreams, a soda without sugar or junk that is loaded with flavor, bubbles, and a little something extra, probiotics. That is amazing. Our cola brings you a new take on a classic with a crisp and refreshing cola taste and a whole lot of feel good to go with it. Our version is more than just another soft drink. It's a probiotic powerhouse. Well, I'm excited about this. I am super excited about trying this. So non-GMO. Are you ready? You ready? Yep, it's all non-GMO. Should we open up two cans or just one can? No, we can drink out of the same soda. My thing is more of like, am I going to taste it and you're going to judge my reaction? Oh, no. I thought you were talking about like mouth stuff because I totally like stole your toothbrush this morning in the hotel. Sorry. Sorry. No. <laughs> It's, um, again, I feel bad because... I'm telling oh, you, ding. this is not a cola issue. It's not. It's, it's, it's the probiotic issue. I was so excited. And I was thinking, like, this isn't fair to them because cola's hard. Gotta judge a company by its cola. That's what I told the vendors of, what was the other one? Virgil's. Virgil's. We told them that today. Got to judge it by the cola. Virgil's was really good. And it was good. good. We're going to have to do that one tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe we'll see if we can grab a can from them to do a full review. And we even had a couple of ladies behind us when yeah. I said that, said, you are absolutely right. Got to judge a soda by its cola. Because I said, let's drink the root beer. Yep. Because I don't want to like be upset in front of this gentleman. And, and the, yeah, the ladies were like, drink the cola. Okay. Then you'll know if you really like it. Here's the problem. It's not horrible. Which but is good it's... because we've got five more to drink. Well, here's what it is. It's like drinking. It's it's drinking probiotics. It's a medicine. It tastes a little bit like a medicine. I don't taste anything sweet. There's it's nothing not for sweet. For five grams of erythritol, which actually isn't a whole lot. You consider a lot of times cookies. You get a cookie. It's got 12, 13, 14, 15 grams of erythritol in it, yeah. right? This is an entire can with only five grams of virtual. There's not a lot of sweetener. I was going to say, I'll tell you what. But it also does have, it should be sweeter because it has monk fruit in it. I'll tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like cola flavored seltzer. I don't know. I'm just getting those probiotics. And not, it's a little like. It's not strong. It's a little like a, a, a salsa flavored cola crossed with a kombucha. <laughs> okay. It, yeah. Let's put this to our five things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new, that was a not a good high five. Let's, Let's try, try that again. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Number two, we talk about does a keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? All right. So number one, the ingredients. The ingredients on this are really, really Fantastic. good. Fantastic. Really That's why good. we were so excited about yes, it. Yes, I was excited because I've seen some other non. Uh, aspartame diet sodas mm -hmm. in the market, especially when we went and visited Sprouts. Yeah. However, most of them still had caramel coloring in it. Yep. This one doesn't. Is this a clear soda? It's like a, no, it's it's like Very a kombucha slightly. color. Is this got food? That, no, I don't have anything to pour it into. I will grab a glass. Here we go. So, so it's it's like a kombucha color. Yeah. It, that's the probiotics. It's light. It's it's not, there's no caramel coloring in this. That's coming from your probiotics. Wait, let me drink it out of this because maybe if we drink it fancy. Wine glasses always make something taste better. Ah, uh, still no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's okay. To me, it tastes like a a, selt, a, a seltzer that's flavored Coke. It's just not sweet. The cola flavored seltzer. It's, maybe if it was sweeter, but okay. So let's get back to our five things. Yes. Okay, so number one, the ingredients. The ingredients are very good. Awesome. Number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It is, if you're a net carb person, it's zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero, zero. And you're getting the benefit of probiotics. Yep. 
So, so yes, and keto's based on a nutrition label. Number three, how does it taste? Lackluster, Lackluster. is the word that comes to I, mind. Honestly, and here's and here's why I chose cola. If I have a cola and it's average, it's palatable, but it's not Coke or Diet Coke. Yep. For example, Zevia. Yes. Okay. I not like my, my Zevia. Cola. I started with the cola. I said it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not Diet Coke, but it's okay. And if this one is okay, the, the other, other flavors, flavors will be good at least because. Again, root beer, hard to screw up. I feel like cream soda, hard to screw up. Orange soda, hard to screw up. One of my favorites, grape, hard to screw up. Yeah, because it's never good, and that's something you can count on. I'm just saying that, like, if their cola is decent, not the best, but decent, You'll the like other, flavors other flavors are going to be good. Surprisingly for me, the Zevia that I like the least is lemon lime. Really? Yes. Their version of Sprite. Yeah, their version of Sprite. So... But this one is so not good, I don't know if I'm willing to try the other flavors. Which brings us to number four. If you're on the fence of it, about it, uh, what's the we, price like? We bought this on sale. It was $3.99, and we had a dollar off coupon. Okay, so then... But it is normally, I think it was on sale for three ninety nine, and mm -hmm. we had a dollar off coupon. So two ninety nine. The regular price was four ninety nine a six pack. So the same price as Zevia. So if you could get... To a two ninety nine price point, like if you get it on sale, I might be willing to try the other. I might be flavors. willing to try it, the but Rebear. as it stands right now, I'm not willing to pay two ninety nine on the cola mm -hmm. unless you're willing to like you're drinking it like kombucha. I'm sorry, nobody truly likes like I just want to drink a fermented kombucha, right? You drink? No, I think some people do like it. Do you really think that? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like. I just need a refreshing drink. Yeah, right? it's more like it's medicine. I'm it's medicine take it. or it's wine. You know, I don't know. It's just I. Maybe I'm. It's just maybe I'm probably weird. I know I'm weird. Well, yeah. Of you course. tell me I'm weird all the oh, time. Oh yeah. Well, well, both of us. So we're all weird. I don't know. It's kind of. It's just a little medicine-y for me. Yeah. Okay. So that leads us to number five. Would we recommend it? Probably, if you could find it on sale, I would try the root beer. But if you're like... I can't like, say that if I haven't tried the root beer. If you're going... I don't recommend... I'm going on cola. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it's it. It's not worth... Go get Zevia. Yeah. Or go find the company that we just found today. We're Virgil's. gonna We're going to hook up with them tomorrow. We're going to see if we can get them and give us a can and we'll do a full review on that one. Yeah. That's okay. crazy. Because that one, we had the cola. It was really good. It was good. Then we tried the root beer. And the root beer reminded me of old-fashioned birch beer. It kind of kicked Stevia's butt. Yes. Like the it, root beer. It did. For me, at least. It did. did. For you, too? Yeah. All so. right. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know if you have ever tried this soda. And we will finish the rest of these off in these glasses that are fancy because it will at least help us to get down these. I don't know five. if I'm finishing these. Cheers to you. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check the little bell icon or hit it, right? Don't check it. Hit it. Hit it. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.